Good day everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is Crumpets Tea and Sewing and my name is T and in today's video I want to share with you um, my recent trip to Pendleton, Oregon and um, in Pendleton they are known for this um, store called Pendle Pendleton Woolen Mills and it is a store that has been established in this area um, since the late 1800s and they sell all kinds of uh, wool items and um, mostly uh, wool afghans and blankets and and things like that but they also have some fabrics not so much apparel um, they have maybe one or two uh, fair uh, one or two apparel fabrics that I was able to pick up that um, it's all wool 100% wool most of their wool that they sell as fabrics um, they are for upholstery so you're not going to really find much in the way of uh, apparel fabric however I was told that um, there's a woolen mills in Portland and they do carry uh, more of a selection of your 100% uh, wool apparel fabrics and so if you're in Portland or the area or you're visiting uh, check them out but me and my husband when we were coming from Wisconsin moving from Wisconsin to uh, the Hermiston Oregon area we stopped at Pendleton now Pendleton is about I would say maybe 45 minutes to an hour from us and we stopped in that city. We actually stayed there for about four to five nights. Um, it's a really nice city, very, very small. Uh, they don't really have much in the way of shops or anything like that. Um, like I said, this Woolen Mills is their main attraction um, there. And then they do have like um, seasonal things that they do in the community, like they have a rodeo, um, every September I'm told um, that brings a lot of people into the area from all over the country and um, they have um, all kinds of different things that they they do there but um, I just I really wanted to go to this shop this uh, woolen mill shop just to see what the fuss is about and um, uh, here pretty soon I'll show you a clip of the inside of the store the outside of the store some of the things that they they have there um, but yeah I just wanted to share with you the item that I purchased there um, it's a really beautiful 100% wool fabric so I purchased this really nice blue fabric it has um, variations of uh, different blues and then it has this really um, you can't really see it from the the angle of this this camera I'm so sorry about that but it has like this grayish black tone going down the length of the fabric and it's just so wonderful and I like the um the different tones that they have here and the contrast of colors here so you have the white here it has a a line of white going down the length of the fabric and then um, the contrast of the black going down the length of the fabric as well but it's really gorgeous fabric this piece here cost $5.99 a yard and i purchased two yards of it two or two and a half yards of it I would have to remeasure it but I just wanted something real simple um, to make maybe a kimono or uh, some kind of shirt maybe with a peplum at the bottom uh, something like that but this is just a re really gorgeous fabric 
So enough about the fabric. I will go ahead and take you inside so that you can see what the store is like and um, some of the things that they sell here. So as I mentioned previously, they don't really have much in the way of apparel fabric, but it is a really nice store. If you find yourself in the area and you would like to uh, pick up one of their shirts or um, a blanket or anything like that, all of their items are 100% wool. And if that's something that you're interested in and you're in the area, um, you should stop by give give it a look it's really a great store I had fun shopping there with my daughter and we didn't really buy we didn't buy anything I can't imagine buying a shirt um, for a hundred dollars when I can uh, make the shirt for you know less than that they have some really great selections there and if that's something that you like I would recommend you going into the store and and um, trying it out and seeing you know see for yourself some of the things that they have if any of you have any suggestions on what kind of garment I should make with this fabric please leave those suggestions in the comment section below I would love to hear any and all of your suggestions on uh, what I should do with this beautiful fabric here are a few patterns that I am considering using. So this first one is Simplicity 1318. Now this is an easy to sew pattern. It is a kimono pattern and it has uh, four different views. Uh, the views consist of uh, view A, which is uh, a short kimono. It uh, has these uh, contrasting bands going down the length of the front of the garment and then also a contrasting band on the sleeves. View B is uh, similar to view A, except for the length is a little bit longer. View C is also similar to view B. And then view uh, D, um, I guess maybe it's a little bit uh, slimmer in the waist. It doesn't flare as much. I am considering doing uh, views A, B, or D. Um, because I only have two yards of fabric, I am limited in my choices. So I definitely want to try to do this kimono jacket, but I'm not for certain what if I should do it in this particular fabric. So if you have any suggestions on this, please uh, make those suggestions in the comments below. I would really appreciate that. The second pattern that I am considering for this project is Simplicity Easy to Sew 2255. It is a button up uh, shirt. 
it consists of five views. You can either do the view without sleeves. Um, there's a variation where you can do a gather in the sleeves or gather on the side of the, the garment here. Or you can do uh, long sleeves or three quarter sleeves. There's a view with ruffles as well. I suspect that because I only have two yards of fabric, I'm probably going to be doing view C. And I have not considered whether or not I'm going to be doing the ruffles going down the neck of the shirt. So view C calls for um, one yard and five eighths of fabric. So I would definitely be able to do that. So that's definitely something that I can consider for this project. So again, if you have any suggestions about whether or not I should do this pattern, Simplicity 2255, or the previous pattern, Simplicity 1318, please um, put your comments below and uh, tell me why you think uh, I should do this one versus the other one or vice versa. So the last pattern that I am considering for this project is Simplicity Easy to Sew 1887. Now I've had this particular pattern in my stash for quite some time and last year I was supposed to do view um, A and view D for my daughter but I never got around to doing it. I do want to test this pattern out and I thought that this might be a really good opportunity to do that. I have two yards of fabric for view D, and that is the variation, the skirt variation. I would need one and three quarters um, of fabric, and so I would definitely be able to do that view. I would also be able to do uh, view C, which is the shorts but I really don't want to do that um, so yeah so I'm definitely thinking about doing view D I like that this view has the um, flat band in the front with the elastic in the back of the garment so if you look at the line drawing here you can see for the skirt, it has elastic in the back of the garment. And so I would really like to have a comfortable skirt or a pair of pants um, to be able to wear. And I think having that elastic in the back will definitely um, add to the comfortability of a garment. And so I am definitely thinking about doing view D for this project. However, I don't know if this particular fabric would be suitable for this project. According to the suggested fabric for this pattern, it would be okay. But I, because I haven't tested this, this pattern yet, I just don't know. So anyway, again, these are the three different patterns that I am considering for this project. If you have a particular pattern here that you think that I should use, um, make sure you comment in the comment section below and uh, tell me your reasoning for why I should do one over the other. Um, again, thank you for watching and supporting the channel. I hope to talk to you all in the next video.